previously in Phenera. First Corinthians 2 13. The Bible says, Now we have not received the spirit that belongs to the world, but the Holy Spirit who is from God, given to us, that we might realize and comprehend and appreciate the gifts of divine favor and blessing so freely and lavishly bestowed on us by God. The spirit that is in the regenerated you is the spirit of God. The spirit that is working in the inside of you is not a spirit of man, is not the spirit of this world. The Bible says that your bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Can you imagine that? That place which you call your body, the spirit of God says, I reside here, this is my temple. Meaning, when the spirit wakes up in the morning, he wakes up in you. When he wants to do any deductions, he does them in the inside of you. And that is what the scripture meant when he says that I will live with them, that I will walk in them, that I will dwell in them. The word walk there means perambulating, which means to patrol the borders of something. You are not just a kind person. You are not just a person who hates sin. You are not just a person who passes and the dead resurrect. You're not just a person who picks up lame people from their bondage. There is something that is working itself in the inside of you. When you hear that someone has died somewhere, there is something that is telling you, no, that is not right, that is not right. Let's go and sort it. There is something that dwells in the inside of you that wills and does through you. If you are born of God, you cannot be the same. Jesus answered and said, verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again. Now, when you study that Hebrew word, Gineth and Othena, it means you are birthed from above. When you check that word, Gineth, Gineth has drawn from genes. It means you carry the genes of God in the inside of you. That tells me when people are busy boasting about their lineages, God is busy dancing and saying, she is of my lineage. She is of my kind. tell you one thing about sin. People are sinners because of parentage. You are not a sinner because you lie every day. One is a sinner because of their parentage. Can I show you a scripture? It says, wherefore as by one man sin entered into the world and death by sin and so death passed upon all men for that all have sinned. By one man everyone became a sinner. You are not righteous because you do good things only. The Bible says that you are a partaker of God's divine nature. You partook of a certain nature. You partook of a certain parentage. When somebody gets born again, something happens to your parenting. There is something that dies and then something else comes. What comes is that man from above. He takes over. When you are born again, it is not like you have a certain past with you which is just about to show up. When a man is born again, your past is not erased, your past is not taken away. It is non-existent. That is what the Bible means when it says in 2 Corinthians 5:17, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. Why? All things they passed away. They did pass away. Behold, all things are become new. There is no record of you of what your forefather did. We can't carry these things and function like as if we are of this world. We are not. We are not. Do you know what is in the hands of God? Let us look at Psalms 145. The Bible says, the eyes of all wait upon thee and thou givest them what? They are meat in due, in due season. Thou openest thine hand and satisfied the desire of every living thing. When he opens his hands, he satisfies the desire of every living thing. He says, you shall learn to nations why because it is you that is the desire of the nations you don't just lend to them because you have money no there is something that they must feed of you the bible says in the book of thessalonians that he has called you to obtain glory a person who has obtained glory a person who is walking in the pattern of glory and virtue is not thinking about what to eat tomorrow 
when I'm waking up in the morning and I know that I know there are even worse things to face, I just start to say, God, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, my God. I am full of joy. The Spirit of God is in the inside of me. I know the same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead is the same power at work in the inside of me. Therefore, I'm more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. The more I do that, my face begins to shine. Because that is the wisdom of God. And boy, you don't want to know how tribulation heads shining faces. Why? Because everything comes to conform you into what they are. The landlord knocks. But when he knocks, open it and say, power of the Holy Ghost. The anointing of God is shining on you. When he stands up and he's still dizzy in the anointing, he will ask you, which church do you go to? I learned one thing of my father, Ephesians 3, 9. It says, and to make all men see what is the first mystery. And from the beginning of the world, he had been he who created all things by Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. To the intent that now principalities and powers in the heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God. I learned this, that principalities only hear wisdom. You can pray, fast, break, do what? But unless there is that wisdom of God in the inside of you, principalities will never bow. The Bible says that you have the mind of Christ. The Bible says that Christ has become unto you wisdom. Wisdom. What does that tell you? You're going to see kings coming. Kings by default are wise people. But by the time the wisest ones are looking for you, that means there is a certain functioning of wisdom that is not of this world. That is what you carry, the wisdom of Christ. The Bible says that this knowledge shall cover the earthly plain like waters the sea. But this very knowledge, the Bible says that you make a server of it in every place, wherever you go. Even right now, when you just choose to sit down, people are seeing the knowledge of God. When you walk out of this place, people are seeing the knowledge of God. Do you know what the word server means? It means fragrance. In every place that I choose to move, people are smelling God. They are like, hmm. People start to hunger and burn for God. The spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of God works in you by the word. He starts to reveal things you've not even known before. Jesus looks at a fig tree which cannot produce a fig and he executes judgment. Why? Because it was not in the pattern of trees at that point when Jesus needed to eat, not to provide. It had to provide. Why? Because all things must respond to you. When you turn to them, they must respond. When you go to your ATM and you want money, whether you left money or you didn't leave money, it must respond. When the doctor says, oh, we are sorry, you seem to be barren, you will never produce child. Touch that womb of yours. It must respond. The wisdom that you carry in the inside of you is what makes your face to shine. It says, who is the wise man? And who knoweth the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom maketh his face to shine. And that is how we ought to walk every day. Understanding that there is something else that is at work in the inside of us. Because we are not of this world. We are in it but not of it.